there's a little red light. I can see that now. <laughs> okay. Well, the discussion I want to deal with today is a continuation from last week, really. It's on wands. Now, there are some wands that can be can be got commercially, but where I would get wands from is a place where they're out attuned and most of them have a core. When I say they have a core, it can be uh, it can be a feather of a bird, it can be a hair of a dog, it can be anything. Okay, so the wand must choose you. You do not choose the wand, you'll get a pull. And it's an irresistible pull. I've got to have that one. I must have it. You'll think about it in the day. You'll think about it at night. It'll be continual. This is quite normal. In actual fact, I'm getting one for um, Dark Raven one. Um, it comes from the States. But it has been treated ritually and it's a beautiful one and she's had a direct pull towards it so I have to get this. Um, now what is a wand? Is it just a piece of wood that's protecting or that looks very attractive projecting from one's hands? No it's a bit more than that. It is not the wand. When the wand is attuned to you, and I advise you to sleep with a bloody thing, put it under your pillow when you get it, sleep with it, get used to it, become one with the wand. Then you must focus your energy through the wand. Your, say you want to heal. You visualize this violet light projecting from your hands through the wand and going towards the person you wish to heal. If you're calling up the, um, the quarters, again, when you draw the pentagram, visualize like blue fire. projecting from your wand and actually tracing the pentagram in front of you. Visualize it. When you draw the circle, visualize the blue flames arising up around you and going over the top so you're in like a dome. Visualize these flames it's very, the stronger your visualization, the stronger your protection. Then of course, you visualize the white light. You pull this down. Now, once that white light is pulled down, there's no way anything from the dark side can get anywhere near you. It's impossibility. It is a celestial law, an unwritten law. Now, we've had similar pulls of the Masters directing us. Um, we went shopping on Friday. And I had this strange pull because we heard about this Galaxy tab that has been frozen because of the injunction. It's been frozen everywhere. But I still had this pull. So I went to our car phone warehouse. Oh no, they haven't got it. There's an injunction now. So I said, well, the warehouse. Can you check the warehouse? Oh, hang on, I'll go on the phone and check it out. Which he did. He said, oh, there are some in the warehouse and they're going to be delivered. So this is, the pad isn't important. What was important was the pull. It was the masters or the spirit guides directing you, saying, yes, you've got to get this. Don't ask me why, I don't know. And this is the same applies to everything. 
channeling, when you do Reiki, you're channeling. When you're reading, doing divination, you're channeling. What is channeling? It's a word that I don't grasp. It's calling in spirit. Now we've often also heard a lot about shadow people. And let me turn that down a little bit because it will come over my voice. Um, what are shadow people? Shadow people, well Gypsy Genie will understand this, come from Bodo. What is Bodo? It is a shadow world. It's a shadow world between worlds. It's, um, how can I explain this? It can be where, it can be a learning curve to be in the shadow world. They virtually have no um, body outside uh, the shadow world. Like if you go to Amani, you have your etheric body, which is much the same as your own body. Um, if you're on earth, you have an earth body. But in the shadow world, you don't have either, except in the shadow world. Um, we have seen the shadow people. They, they move very quickly. They can transverse from there to earth. They can also transverse from there to Imani. So this explains the shadow people. Uh, I'm going off track again. We were talking about wands. Do not be concerned with, oh, I've got to get the wood of one particular one because that's when my birthday was. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The power is not in the wand. The wand just accelerates it. Um, it amplifies your power. But the power is from you. In actual fact, it's not even from you. It's from the masters. Through you, through the wand, amplified. Like when you use a crystal. You use a crystal the same way. Um, you do a Reiki grid. It's done the same way. You're empowering and amplifying the healing to the person you're working on. Uh, this is vitally important. Do The other question is, do I have to have a crystal on the end of my wand? John, stop that. That's rude. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't have to have a crystal at the end of your wand. Depends what you're using your wand for. I have two wands. I have a crystal wand. I have three, actually. I have a pure... <coughs> Sorry about that. I have a pure crystal wand and I have an ornate one and I have my shaman wand. And I'm probably looking for another wand. All do different things. Depend on what you're working at. Now we hope to, to get a uh, little buffalo. He's, he wants a wand as well so I have to get him. These are not Cheap ones, they're not um, reproductions of Harry Potter ones. No. These are not plastic images. These are actual ones that have been used and been worked on. How long have I got, son, on this? Uh, you've got around four minutes left. I've got four minutes left. Okay. Well, while we're on to ones, I must remind you... Um, the divination ones, so you're familiar with these. They're a bar with a bit going down for your hands. These are ones in all intents and purposes. And those who are doing Reiki and doing Pranic, you can actually register where the, the uh, what, what's the name, the bioenergy or the biophotons are, because it will measure it. You can feel it. The ones will react to it. So you can find out how far it is from the body. I have several aids that I use for teaching, but some of them I, I, 
I can't get on site, unfortunately. Um, so the wand is actually used not only for finding water and oil and bodies and shit. It can also be used for measuring the actual measurement around the, the body. Now for you, oh excuse me, I just had breakfast then, <laughs> I'm talking too fast. Um, for some of you who are into gizmos, I have a little secret. If you have a multimeter near you, set the multimeter to ohms, isn't it, Adrian? What's that? The multimeter is set to ohms, isn't it? I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think it's set to ohms. And you'll find, uh, when you're doing a ritual, hold it against where you've done the ritual, and you'll find that you'll get a reading. Where you're doing healing, especially healing, um, you all of a sudden it'll read. The, you can actually get a measurement from the multimeter. You can get a perfect measurement from the multimeter reading the energy, the bioenergy. Now I'm not sure whether it's ohms or mini volts. I'm not sure which it is, but uh, worth checking out, those who have got multimeters and want to expand further on this. I feel very excited today for some unknown reason. Um, do you ever have this exhilaration that is going through you? Well, that's what I'm getting. And I want to thank... John and Crystal Spirit Woman. It's wonderful things you have done. And also, Sissy. Carol, Moon Dancer. It's wonderful to hear from you. I wasn't joking when I said we have something here for you. You say you love water wall computers. Bet your ass you'll have water wall computers done we finish. I'm not allowing you to go to end up off the offline because you're so important. You're so important to us. Um, okay, it's a little bit of selfishness on my part coming through. But I'm sure you can forgive this. Lovely photographs to... Uh, um, Crystal Spirit Woman, I, I like them very much. And I also like some of the videos you put on. One of them nearly reduced me to tears. It was so beautiful. It was the most, one of the most beautiful videos I've seen for a long time. I'm sorry about this pinging. What it is, every time someone comes through on an Apple computer, it pings to alert me. Uh, Crystal Woman would know about that. You've passed the 14 minute mark. I passed the 14 minutes. But you said I had four minutes. That was four minutes ago. That wasn't four, that was just me, that was just now. No, it's gone, be it's, told. It's gone, be told. Oh, God almighty. The... And as you carry on, I'll send you to your room. It woke up in the bedroom. Oh, shit. I've been awake all the time. Oh, my God. See, they're all ganging up against me. If John. Eh? If you don't be good, I'll send you to your room, Dad. John, hurry up to Ireland, please. Help me, back me up. I'm you being ganged up on. The shed. <laughs> yeah, you and John can go in the shed. <laughs> See how us men folk are treated? Terrible. Because me and my sister have put you there. Can you hear her in there? She's really gone off on a tangent this morning. Uh, she wants to be very careful. Her, it's getting near. Uh, Wednesday. You've gone past the 15 minute mark now. I'm going. I'll just yeah, be too. Bye bye. <laughs> Namaste from Shanti. <laughs>